Hello, welcome back, deals. Let's see. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maya. If you like the energy, we like the vibe. Feel free to like and subscribe. And thumbs up those videos, okay? So let's see what's gonna pop on with deals. Hope everybody's doing good. So let's see. What's going on with Leos? What is the... Ocho? Wow. She's throwing everything on the floor today. It's like she's hauling ass. Give me a second. She's been doing this in every reading. She likes to be firm, direct, fast, and boom. She's out of there. This is how Ocho works. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Everybody's used to my Naila, but it is what it is, you know? She's my mother. I love her. Okay, let's see. Ocho. What is the overall energy for me? What else? Let's see. Come on the fence. Come on the fence. Okay. Be careful in your workplace. Be careful where you work. Be careful where you're dealing with the money. Be careful um, how you're hustling, whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter. Hustling, working, making money, a small business, whatever it is, because somebody here is going to try to trap you. Somebody is going to do some conniving shit to try to make you lose your money, okay? So be very careful who you're dealing with in your job, in your work. But somebody's working very hard here to make it happen. And somebody here is going to be very unloyal to you, and they're hiding secrets, and they're talking shit behind your back. And it's like... Something is brewing up here in your job place where you work. I feel like somebody's a chef here and likes to cook. Maybe that's your line of duty, whatever it is. Your line of duty, you're serious, like you're a cop. Excuse me for saying that. But I feel like somebody here, for some reason, is going to have a problem in their workplace. There's a lot of secrets hidden here. And somebody could be jealous or trying to get, I don't know, somebody's trying to get somebody fired here, man. What's up with that? Let me see. Yeah, somebody that's very immature. A person that wants to be like, a, they want to be immature. They're not immature. They want to be fucking immature. In the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody here could be trying to like tamper with whatever the fuck they're saying and tamper with your business and you know what you're not saying and shit like that try to get you fired okay so be careful with what you're doing at work but i feel like somebody here you know for the most part is hiding a lot of secrets from you or could have potentially hide a lot of secrets from you. let me see what else for you here somebody's trying to give you a helping hand from the realm because there's too many judges. Listen, somebody here from the Riyam, so a past loved one here is trying to give you a helping hand. Okay? I feel like some of you feel like you're being played in some type of way, which I feel like you are. And there's a lot of secrets um, hidden here. But I feel like somebody from the Riyam, like a past loved one, a friend, a family member, whoever it is that passed away, is trying to give you a helping hand. They're trying to give you like messages, synchronicities, whatever it is, signs, smells, whatever it is, to let you see what the fuck is going on here. There could be a problem with a family member here that's holding something in that you're supposed to have or you were supposed to have when somebody passed on and they don't want to give it up. There could be a string here that somebody's holding with somebody's ashes. You need to let that go to the ocean. Because this was this person's last wishes. But I feel like some, something, somebody left something behind here. Either when they passed on or if somebody passed on. There's something they're going to leave behind. And somebody's holding secrets. Somebody's trying to change something around. So you don't receive that. But somebody from the Riyam. It could be this person that passed away already. Yeah. Somebody has four children. But this person is like trying to warn you about what's going on here. Don't let yourself fall. Is what Ochoa is saying. No te dejes caer. No dejes que te tumben. Don't let nobody drop you. Don't let nobody um, play tricks on you. Don't let nobody make you fall. Stand in your own power. You have it in you. The Knight of Swords. The bottom of the deck. Somebody here is trying to twist something up. Hold on a minute. What else? Ochoa. From my ears. Somebody here is holding a lot of secrets, man. Yeah. 
Listen, you gotta be careful here with a with another Leo because I feel like there's another Leo here trying to trick you or trying to like make up stories, trying to be like you or something like that. But I feel like you were dealing with a person here that would not stop the arguments. It was like, damn. It was like everything you do bothered you, everything you do, everything you did or do or done, even your past, they have brought it up to your face. Like, who the fuck does that? Whoever has a past has a past. You feel me? But I feel like you're going to come into a lot of money. But what I'm seeing here, for some reason, she says dinero, dinero, dinero. So somebody here is going to get a lot of money for something that's happening here. So if somebody tries to fuck with you, do the right thing. Because I feel like there's somebody watching you here the whole time while you're working. There's a lot of things going on here in the workplace. Somebody's going to try to get somebody fired. Or already did. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody here, or you were dealing with somebody here that judged you a lot, that man, everything you did, your past, they brought it up to your face, it was like, everything was a problem. But it's a person that's not, they're not immature, they want to act immature. But they know exactly what they're doing, because when you're not around, they're a whole other person. Hold on a minute. There it is. Listen, you either move forward, or you either stay stuck in this person's energy because this person's trying to get into your energy. And I feel like whoever here, I feel like somebody got involved here with some type of tarot reader or somebody that knows how to read tarot or somebody that's learning how to read tarot. But you're moving forward. Somebody's stuck here. Somebody's not seeing what's happening around them. You need to open your eyes and see what's happening around because somebody here is trying to connive you out of something. This was going to come out upright. And you saw that turn? And went upside down. Somebody doesn't want you to move forward. Somebody here is trying for you not to move forward. They're stuck on you, but they're holding a lot of secrets here. They could be real loyal, and then boom, out of nowhere, they could be a very conniving person. They're more conniving than loyal. Somebody here would rather see you fail and fall, like a crazy motherfucker that they are, than to see you move forward. They're waiting for you. They think you're coming back. Whoever you were dealing with here thinks you're coming back. And they're not accepting no for an answer. You know, it's like they're sitting there. It's like somebody here. Listen, deals. I feel like somebody here, for the most part, is like going into a lot into themselves and thinking about everything that has happened to them. I feel like you're going out and sitting outside a lot, and the elements are going out, and you're noticing birds, different animals different signs and different things and i feel like you're going to yourself and thinking a lot somebody could have a very loyal animal here a cat or a dog but i feel like from the realm somebody's trying to give you some message to try to help you here because i feel like you're having bad luck when it comes to love or relationships or even friends you're having bad luck here but i feel like somebody had a dog or a cat or something like that very low that passed on and it's like you're missing this animal this animal showing up in front of you but in different ways it could be a bird it could be anything it could be a lizard it's showing up to you in different ways you might even be seeing this animal around the house for some reason she's telling me that ask that animal to help you remember there is animals that come in that are spiritual animals but somebody lost an animal here that is spiritually trying to guide you but there's somebody in the realm and it could be a father figure a brother a cousin but I see a male figure, and I also see a woman figure, but the male figure is stronger. Hold on a minute. What else here from the videos? Somebody here is, oh my God. Look at this, in the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. Money coming in. With the King of Cups. Somebody to trust. Somebody that's going to love you right. Somebody that's going to treat you how you're supposed to be treated. I feel like Leo's, you know what's up. You know what's going on. And you ain't going to let nobody fucking come in and fuck you up. You're moving like the Knight of Wands. Very fast. You know what's up. She's telling me, hey, what's up? You know what's up here. What's going on here? But there's a strong male figure here on the other side that's trying to help you. 
whoever here wants to come into your energy and love you, let them love you because they're going to love you right. Because whoever you were dealing with here before wanted to be immature, wanted to be in fights, wanted to be... They don't want to move forward. It's like they did not want to move forward. It's like you're stuck in the fucking... They always will. There could be somebody that wears a tattoo. I mean, wears a tattoo. Has a tattoo um, behind their neck or something like that that I'm seeing. Or in the side of their neck that's very distinguished. You could, somebody could see it. Very distinguished tattoo. Man, bloodshot. She just said bloodshot. Somebody, I feel like somebody drowned here. Or is drowning in their own emotions. Somebody here was had somebody here as their main and somebody as a side person and I feel like both people left them but I feel like somebody moved on to a side person and they fucked them over they're fucking them up right now but somebody's very much into their feelings here very much into their feelings you need to look in front of you and was trying to guide you here because someone from the other side this is more like a spiritual here going on here is trying to guide you the right way I feel like some of you leaders have given up on love. It's like you just want to do you. You don't want to hear or see nobody. But there is love coming in here. A very mature person. Probably a little bit older than you. It's up to you, Leos. I can't tell you what to do. Let me see. But somebody here is, you know, coming in with some type of sort of income or something to help you out. Somebody's having trouble with money. Somebody looks at themselves in the mirror a lot here. They're very, very, like, conceited. And they think they're better than you. It might be a friend or a family member, but I feel like it's a friend. They think they're better than you. So be careful with your friends here. Let me see. What is coming towards you this way? I'm trying to make these short. I'm doing bonus readings next week. Yeah, a lot of fighting here. A lot of fighting here, a lot of fakery here, a lot of partying here, you know, a lot of drinking here. And when the drinking gets too much, there's a lot of fights. This person can handle their drinking. It's like wherever they go, it's like an embarrassment. What else for my deals here, Ocho? What is coming towards you or what's happening towards you? Yeah. Somebody was left out in the cold. And I believe because you left this person out in the cold, it's like chaos all over the place. It's like revenge all over the place. It's like they want to get back at you no matter how. This person all they was fighting and arguing. I feel like they were they had a drinking issue. And if even if y'all drank together, it's like wherever they went, it was an embarrassment because they would start fights everywhere. And they were thrown out of everywhere. But I feel like this person that's doing this to you, that you left out in the cold, you're standing like the empress no matter what. You're on Empress status right now. You need to hold that Empress power and keep on moving because new love is coming in. New love is coming in whether you want it or not. New love is coming in. But I feel like somebody's going to gift you here with something for some reason. But Leo's, I'm telling you, somebody here is very conniving, very deceiving. That doesn't stop, want to stop bothering you. It's like, whatever the fuck they're doing, somebody from the realm. It could be a guy. It could be an ancestor. It could be a past loved one. It's going to fuck shit up here. Because somebody here was left out. Man. Somebody here was left out, man. At some point where they had nothing. Somebody here fucked you up really bad. When it came to your finances, your home, your stability, everything. And fucked you up at some point. You could be dealing here with a Pisces, a Scorpio. Um, a Cancer. A Virgo. More water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Gemini. Man, there's a lot of conniving energy here. Aries, Leo, Taurus, more Leo. You could be dealing with a strong Leo here or have a lot of Leo in your chart. Cancer, Taurus. Pisces, Scorpio, 
Cancer. Leos, I feel like you have a yin yang going on here, like a soulmate connection, twin flame gone wrong or something like that. But I feel like because you left somebody out in the cold or walked away from somebody, this person want, wants revenge on you. But somebody's coming here into your life that you could trust is going to help you out in a situation here. And I feel like it's coming from the realm. Somebody's father, grandfather passed away. It could even be a mother figure that had that strong male energy when they were alive. But they're trying to help you here. You need to communicate with that person. You need to look for the signs. Synchronicities, whatever it is, you need to follow that and see what they're trying to be to. It could be even man as an animal here. I don't like to see that, but I keep on seeing it. Grayish, I feel like it's grayish. Maybe with black stripes, or it might have been like that colory where it's different colors but dark, not light, is what I'm seeing. I don't know. What you what else is here for you? If I feel, if I sound a little bit weird, it's because I'm tired. I've been doing a lot this week. A lot happened this week. Not right now. What else? Yeah. Listen. Somebody was sending the police your way. And whoever's in the realm, past love when your guys, your ancestors stopped this shit. So whoever here is making money on the side... Or doing something. You know what I mean? And I feel like in the workplace there's something going on here. But there's a little side um, thing going on here. Listen. This is what they wanted you. And the police. There's an officer. It came out of reverse. So somebody here. Helped you. From the police getting to you. I feel like this person is jealous of how you move. How you make money and how you um proceed moving on. You feel me? Whatever you do, you get up. You feel me? But I feel like somebody here is going to end up in court for some reason. There could be a divorce going on here. Let me see. What else are you? I'm so tired. What else are you here for, Leo? What else? This person is going to be begging. Or they're trying to beg you to come back because they're going through it. A main female. It could be a main male. They try to get you to go to um, jail or is trying or did try, but somebody stopped them. Something about money here. Sudden wealth. You're going to get sudden wealth from somewhere. But I feel like this person wants to hold something that's not theirs. That's supposed to be yours. Let me see. Give me another card. What's your name? Let me see. What's that main male about? This person, man, they're jealous of you because they don't have what you got. Yeah, listen, this person, whoever it is, is going to end up or they're going to... Whoever here has a past loved one, it doesn't matter, guides, ancestors, whatever it is. They're going to they're gonna take this person out of the picture. And when I say out of the picture, they're gone. Out of the motherfucking picture. Look at this in the bottom of that. I was looking at this card. Out of the picture. Gone. And when I meant gone, it was like gone. Like out of your existence. But the coffin's under the deck. I don't know. Like these ancestors and these guides and these deities. They don't. You can't play with them. You might be dealing here. I told you the signs, right? Did I? I did. I'm picking up a Gemini over here. Let me see. What is the message here for Leo? What you mean? Moving forward. What is the message here for Leo's? There it is. Let me see. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So love yourself first. Don't put anything or anyone in front of you. You need to love yourself. Okay? And know your worth. 
And another whoever comes around you with this fuckery, you need to remove them out of your way. Because there's something that's brewing up here that's not good. When it comes to police and somebody stopped it. You need to communicate. You need to give offerings. You need to thank your ancestors, your guides, your past loved ones, whoever stopped this person. Because I feel like there's a person here in the realm that's stopping a lot of things unto a certain extent. Okay? Because they need light here. It's like, uh, to a certain extent, is what she's saying. At a cierto momento, is what she's saying here. You need to love yourself before you let anybody love you. Before you let anybody love you. Or love in. Because a lot of healing has to be done here from a lot of fuck that has been happening here. This could be first, middle, last, and extra for you, this person, whatever you're thinking about here. Even this person in the realm. With the past loved one. Even nicknames don't matter. Let's see. You got an H here, which calls to be an I. You got a Q here. No, you got an O, I'm sorry. Well, maybe you need to hear a Q. F. You got an N, which could also be a Z. You got an I, which could also be an H. You got an E. Okay. You got a K. You got a P. You got a T. You got double E's together. E. And you got another E right next to it. So that could be a double E in somebody's name. You got an A. And you got an S. So you got three E's. I'm going to flip this one and one of these. Let's see what I can get you. You got a T that came back because you got double T's now. And you got a straight I. So I'm going to flip one of these T's. And one of these I's and see what I can get you. You got another E. And man, you got another F. Let me just flip this last F and this last, and this last E. Listen, somebody is going to beg, beg for mercy for what the fuck they did to you. You heard me? So don't even sweat it. You feel me? Don't even sweat it. Keep on moving the T. Okay? I'm going to wish you the best of luck. I love you. Ah, and I'll see you later, my loves.